The widespread adoption of rooftop solar panels is increasing the risks of cyber attacks on Australia's electricity grid. Live to Olivia Kaisley. Olivia, how does the government want to stop this? Well, it's Senate estimates here at Parliament House, Danica, which means that Australia's senators have an opportunity to ask pointy questions of our departmental officials. We've learned that the Australian government is developing a plan to try and thwart potential cybersecurity attacks on the nation's solar panels. The issue is that the rise in solar does protect, does present rather a potential security threat and that's because the majority of solar inverters they're made in China and they're also connected to the internet. National Senator Matt Canavan says that the government shouldn't compromise national security to meet renewables targets. The fact that our officials can't ask or answer basic questions about the risks for us here and that they're seemingly rushing to fix the situation after the horse has bolted uh, just shows how risky it is. I also worry over the past week uh, we've had the government decision to not, uh, not touch the Darwin port, to leave that in Chinese government hands. How much has that been influenced by the Prime Minister's impending trip to China? NDIS Minister Bill Shorten says the government should be given some credit for improving the relationship with China. I think the National Party's a bit cute, aren't they? Now, this is their latest reason to not do anything in renewable energy because it's a Chinese spy. Um, listen, I think technology generally is vulnerable to uh, bad actors globally. As we know, Australia's relationship with China is on much steadier footing than it was some years ago. It comes ahead, of course, of that visit from Anthony Albanese to China next month. That hasn't stopped, though, the Five Eyes intelligence chiefs last week warning about China's global espionage campaign, Danica. Olivia Kaisley, thank you.